we're gonna do a little bit of an Instagram critique. The question was, what's a great way to build an art Instagram? I'm trying, but it doesn't seem to increase. Okay, so this is one of pieces huge fan. I'm pretty sure this is a young artist. They have 16 followers, 31 posts. First, this artist has been on Instagram like five minutes. Started posting about three months ago. It takes so long to build a following and this is something you need to understand. And, and a lot of what I'm gonna say to, may sound a little bit critical, but the reason that I'm doing this is just that kind of reality check because I see so much potential in this artist. We have a tendency, something that I'm seeing happen constantly with artists, they are putting the cart before the horse. They want a following before they've perfected their skills, before they've really, I mean, I don't think you have to be perfect to build a following, but beginning artists who worry more about their following than improving their skills. Flip that around. Your art skills come first. Now, that said, I do think it's great that they're already posting stuff on Instagram because this is going to be something that takes a while to build up. So get the hang of how the hashtags work. Get the get a hang the hang of how the algorithms work and the algorithms actually don't even consider the hashtags as much as they used to, so that's a whole other drama. Don't worry. If you are a new artist, do not worry about your following right now. I get that you want to build the following. I do think you should be posting on social media because you need to learn how to use those platforms as well as possible. However, your art matters more. You're not going to build a following if you're not wowing people with the art. And none of us in the beginning are wowing anyone but our family and friends with the art. So right now, post it. Let your family and friends see it. Let them give feedback if you want. Or if you've got other artist friends, a, a group like that that's great but trying to build a following of strangers the strangers don't care the straight you need to wow you need to offer them something so you look at these accounts that are bigger what are they doing that you're not doing usually they're more experienced artists but we have a tendency especially young artists they want to jump to the end of the line they want to jump to the end of the their skill level you can't do that there's no jumping ahead there's work there's practice there's working on improving your own art and you have to start from zero you're starting from zero with followers or in this case you've got 16 so hey not zero but you're you're going to start at the beginning stop worrying about your followers and worry about improving your artwork i had someone recently tell me that they couldn't work on hard stuff and worry about painting things that were ugly. They felt they could only stick to beginner stuff because they didn't want to disappoint their followers. You're a beginner. Who cares about your, your followers? We worry so much about followers way too soon. They don't matter right now. They will. They don't when you're a beginner. Work on making something that's going to wow people. Now, when I look at their art, they're going to be good. I, I definitely see the potential, but I want to point this out. Look here. Easter 3138, send me a picture on the world art, at the world art. These comments, and this, we all get these, this is spam. Every time I see that, report. I don't care if it's on someone else's, I don't care if it's on my own. And block. They are not helping the algorithm. They are not helping you. That is a spam comment. When they, they try to get you to comment and we'll share your art, usually they don't. They usually are trying to sell you. Hey, if you pay me this amount of money, we've got this huge art account, We, which is only other artists following that are try also paying. We will get you, we'll, we'll get you followers because we're gonna post and tell people that. It doesn't work. It does not work. It is not worth the money. And especially now, you're a beginner artist. The followers that are gonna follow you right now are in a case like that with those spam accounts. Let's say you paid. You let them go ahead and post on their account. Anyone who follows you is probably gonna be one of those other scammers because you just wore a red flag of, hey, I, I fall for your scam. You, I'll, you, can, you can scam me too now. Block those. Those are not good. And I don't want to waste, like Instagram, they are limited on how many of your followers are going to show or how many people are going to show your content. I don't want them wasting those shares, wasting showing it to people who aren't at real people. In this account, so many of these. Here's another scam. This art, this painting's not done, but it's going to be good. Like, you're, you're getting there. This person, hello mate, sorry for the random approach. I found your profile on Explore. From what I can see, you have some clean artwork pictures. It's not how we talk. I would love to buy some collections of your artworks as an NFT. NFT almost every single time is a scam. Delete them, block them, report them. He's not a real person trying to buy an NFT. NFT and art, I'm not saying it might not ever become something, maybe it will right now, always a scam run away i'm glad these are on here because i wanted to show this is important for everyone when you see that this is something block and if you see on someone's account other account report them too report 
you're spamming. You're not a real person. But let's look at this work. One of the things that I really like is that this artist is exploring a lot of techniques. They're a beginner and they are exploring. They're trying different things, figuring out their style. That is awesome. But you're not going to really build a following until you've refined what that's going to be. So don't be disappointed when people aren't following you yet. You're still discovering yourself. Don't expect people to be like jumping on this like, oh my gosh. Another thing that I really liked about this artist, their tagline, art to inspire. You, you've already got a mission statement, which is awesome. And they are trying to inspire other artists. They're actually doing reference photos for artists, which I think is great. But this is another area you've got to improve your photography for that to work. You're not going to take off with this because no one's going to want to paint that. So you want to stage your, your still lives better. So if you want to offer a reference photos for artists, great, do that. But be reasonable in that you've also got a skill up here too. So work on, like this is all leaning to the side, like straighten that out, straighten your camera out, straighten or Photoshop it. it it's a very weird crop. Work on studying. If you want to provide reference photos and you want to get attention for that and people to really be interested in it, you need to improve it. This one was another example. What is going on here? You didn't stage a background. The bottom of the vase is cut off. The This is one, it's supposed to be candy. You've got this jelly candy thing. It's cut off. Like you, you, you need to improve. You need to scale, skill up everything. And it is awesome that you're doing this. I'm not saying don't keep posting while you're improving, but don't be discouraged that you're not getting a following yet. You're not there. You're not going to build a following yet on this. Eventually, as you skill up your art, as you skill up your photography skills, absolutely keep posting them. But don't let that discourage you. Now, this is why I sound harsh and why I'm picking this apart. What happens is artists, they, they put all this work. You, this person is posting almost every day. They are doing an awesome job. And that is a big tip for Instagram. You should be posting at least every other day, ideally. They tell you like twice a day, but sometimes Instagram is like, nope, spam. You're a normal Instagram post once a day, once every other day is normal. You can post on your stories several times a day. Reels are really big on Instagram. Now there is some talk that they're going to be pushing back and focusing more on photos on Instagram again, because the financial side of, of reels is not working out for them, but reels are going to get you more attention than photos. So something to keep in mind for those of you, like if you're an artist and you want to show somebody a photo of your work, instead of just the photo, you can take a video of it. Uh, it's just quick, short videos that can go on your stories and it can go on the reels. There, you have so much potential too. And this is why I'm being so nitpicky because I do not want you discouraged that you're not getting the followers you think you should have just yet on Instagram. This is something you did some cartoons where you were, so it is a video, which is good, but no, cartoons don't even you're not going to get a following doing just coloring books i wouldn't waste space or time with again with the still life and it's all lopsided and you know set it up set it up better learn some still life skills i like the idea of offering that for artists that's really cool but the photos you're doing nobody most people aren't going to want to paint that good idea Let's refine the skill. Let, let's work on photography. Are you following Peter McKinnon, McKinnon? One of the best photographers, and there are some great photographer videos on YouTube that will teach you photography skills that you can now start applying for these reference photos for artists that you're doing. I mean, that's something that eventually you could potentially monetize. You could sell packs of reference photos if you get good enough, but you gotta get good. I love your ideas. I love how often you're posting, but we need to go ahead and improve. Stuff like this, I mean, you, you, when you post something like this, embrace positivity. Uh, You've got it listed as calligraphy. I wouldn't call that calligraphy. Like you're not, again, cart before the horse. Could you turn that into something good with more time? Now here's the other thing that I've seen. You're basically putting 15 minutes of work in and expecting a 60 hour work week payoff. It's, I guess that's the same thing as cart before the horse, but you, this is not the same effort level as some of the other stuff I've seen you do. That's not drawing people in. Like you're not gonna build a following on stuff like that. And I say that, I don't want you to misunderstand and think that means you shouldn't explore and try different things. You should. And that's why it concerns me when young artists or new artists who are so worried about their followers, I don't want you to be so worried that you don't explore different techniques. I mean, you've got a completely different style here. Great. You should be exploring that, but you're not going to build a following on generally on tr so many different things. So I love your contrast here. You need to straighten out the lines of the jars on some of these. You have so much potential, but you're too worried about your followers. You've got ideas that are genius. This one here, this is such a good idea. Took a photo of this little car. There's the photo, cut it, pulled it away and displayed the artwork. That is such a good idea, but the artwork isn't there yet. If that artwork, you refined your skills on that artwork, on that drawing, you put more time into it, because again, 15 minutes of work, but you're looking for that 60 hour payoff, put more time into it, refine your skills. You've got such good, that is such a good idea. That is great. Cart before the horse.
You've got to refine the art skills before you can expect a real following. You can do it, but you're gonna be discouraged if you're expecting followers when you're at this level. We all start at the bottom. There's nothing wrong with starting at the bottom. We all start there, but you're expecting too much too soon. Don't worry about the Instagram right now. I know kids are so or young kids, and I don't think this is a young kid, but I mean, I, I, anyone below 30 is a kid to me. Young people are so worried about those followers. Stop, worry about your skill first. Skill matters more.